to go to the, the live tables, you first go to jobs, to the live tables. Here you're gonna create a pipeline. And now here I'm gonna give it a pipeline name called Wikipedia. Because I'm gonna present a little stream of Wikipedia data and I'll show you how we can generate different streams and put it in the bold tables and you know generate a whole pipeline in a declarative language. So analysts and uh, data engineers can just uh, implement software engineering practices to uh, data engineering. Uh, here I'm gonna select notebook library GitHub that we added. I'm gonna just use that. Once you add the notebook libraries, then you add the target. This is the target database. So I'm gonna use my database. And then this triggered and continuous. So basically, if you want to run the stream in the batch mode, you can use trigger. Uh, let's say for you know you want to run it every three hours or maybe like delay. And yeah, um, and then if you want to have a continuous stream of data, you can use continuous. Enable auto scaling. This allows you to um, uh, you know uh, resize the clusters. And then I'm gonna use as is settings create. So once that is done, once it starts to create um, the API start to call in like whatever is defined in my notebook, it will start to generate like some information here. So to do that, I can to start. All right, so it's starting here and we can see that there is like a very nice pipeline generation here and it is gonna give us every point in time information of what is happening with our um, work stream. So if I want to see like, you know, this one, what happened during this um, this uh, call? So you can see that, you know, this is how it was originating the call, timestamp, message, level info. And then it is gonna say that this is the user action which triggered it, okay? And then once this progresses, we can also see like how far it went. You can now see that it um, finished initializing my stream. It also set up some tables and now, it will, uh, it will allow me to see what happened here. So I can go into JSON. I can see that there is event type is update progress and then there is no error yet. And uh, no. So this message shows that it's still updating the table, setting up the tables for us. Oh, okay, I'm gonna give it one more minute. All right, so this, you can see the whole DAG, uh, whole event stream. So once we had the table set, now it right after uh, that complete that action completed, it generated like a, a whole workflow for us. So you can see in real time, like you know how our um, source data is getting uh, ingested in the click stream, and then uh, it also created a very nice DAG for us. So here, um, let me open the notebook so I can clearly show you how uh, we have declared this whole ETL pipeline. And um, here, you know, this action triggered creation of like a um, creation of uh, stream data, and then right after that, it we are giving a command to generate a click stream clean live table, and then once uh, we have generated a silver table and we are defining the same properties here. So if you are familiar with the, the like medallion architecture, we have three tier architecture, bronze, silver, gold. And that's why we uh, we have this defined in bronze, one of the uh, click stream data from Wikipedia. And then uh, in silver table, we are adding like a few columns and uh, the properties that we want to see in the data. So you can see that here from the table. Uh, once that is done, I'm gonna uh, add further aggregations. So I'm creating like another top uh, Spark refers as a um, as a gold table because I want to generate like you know a business level aggregate. Uh, so whatever stream um, was um, uh, we got from like uh, Spark refers, that's what I want to identify. And then uh, lastly, I also want to see the top pages. That is a separate gold table. So you see that there are four tables which are getting generated. So let's go back to our stream. Uh, you know, first you can see that this is the raw data which is getting ingested into bronze, and then we generated like a um, few aggregates and generated a silver table which is called click stream clean. And then remember we had like two uh, gold tables, gold level aggregate tables, one to see the top pages and one to see the uh, data which was uh, getting generated from. Uh, you know, all the Spark refers. So it's pretty nice, right? We could declare the whole pipeline in like a single um, notebook and it kind of ran one after the other. Another cool thing about the pipelines is in every step of the workflow, it will actually show us, um, you know, information warning and error signs. So this is basically a very good check for all the data engineers who want to generate a quality pipeline for their um, uh, data architecture. Other cool things to note here is once, uh, um, once you go into like schedule, you can also add a schedule to run this, like, you know, either in batch mode or streaming mode, you decide it, uh, that's an option. And then, so this generated like these four tables in uh, the database. Uh, called, let's look at our database again, green. So let's look if this four tables uh, exist in our database. Then B1, two, three, four. Those are the four tables which got generated as a result of this ETL pipeline. Now I can take this data and, you know, I can do like uh, future, um, you know, uh, data science and um, machine learning uh, applica application generation as well as I can also feed this into my SQL analyst pipeline so that we can build the dashboard on it. Pretty cool, isn't it? So thank you for watching. That's about our uh, demo on the other live tables. Hope you enjoyed it.